And still to come on BBC Oxford News this evening. Oxford is famous for its bicycles, but I bet you've never seen one like this. Come fly with me. Now, is it a bird, is it a plane, or is it a bike? An IT teacher from Abingdon is planning to spend his summer holidays raising money for charity by taking his flying bicycle from Land's End to John O'Groats. Brendan Nichols has more. Cycling is seen by many as the best way to beat the queues on the commute to work. Is this, though, even better? John Carver from Abingdon is one of only a handful of people in this country authorised to pilot a flying bicycle known as a flight. It sounds even crazier than it actually was, but I had to do my initial flights without instruction because um, there was nobody who really knew how to fly these in the UK. You are sitting in this upright position. It's like you're, you're sitting in bed with your legs stretched out. You've got a totally unobstructed view around you. You can feel the wind in your hair, long hair I've got, and, and basically you are unable to see what's holding you up there. When John unexpectedly found himself with his summer holidays free, he decided this was the chance to set himself the challenge of going from Land's End to John O'Groats. I have a nine week summer holiday as a teacher and I normally work for the whole of July on a, on a rowing course that's been cancelled this year because of swine flu. So for the first time ever I realised I got a, a nine week break and, and this is a, a challenge I've often thought would be great to do and the great thing about this machine is I can cycle it if I'm ground based so if the weather's rubbish I've got some wet weather gear and you know I can keep going on the ground I can make some progress towards John O'Groats every day of the trip. What I'm going to need to do is find the petrol stations next to fields of a suitable kind. I don't want fields with animals in or with crops in. It's got to be stubble fields or grass fields. And um, basically, I'll need to land in a field. I can wrap up the parachute in five minutes, put it under the seat as it is now, wheel this into a petrol station, fill up, and then I'm ready to go again. John was diagnosed with diabetes as a child. He's hoping to help raise £10,000 towards research into a cure. When I was diagnosed in 78, they said that they were convinced it would come within 10 years. Um, now, I've, I'm absolutely fine with my diabetes now. I couldn't care less if they find a cure or not. It doesn't stop me from doing anything. I'm well aware of the impact it can have on these youngsters. When I'm up at 5,000 feet, I will need to check my blood sugars are okay. Um, I'll need to make sure that if I need to inject myself, that I can do it. John starts his challenge at Land's End on August the 1st and could take up to three weeks to complete it. The biggest problem, though, may be finding somewhere to land. Brandon Nichols. BBC Oxford News. It looks like the bike out of ET and terrifying as well.